I found some more of the best deals for ham radio on Amazon for Black Friday. Let's take a look at them. The links to everything that I go through in this video will be in the description below. They are affiliate links and they do help my channel, so I appreciate it if you do use these. Also, these are available on Amazon.com. These are the US-based Black Friday deals and not every deal may be available in other regions. First up, the EcoFlow portable power station. This is the Delta 2. I did a review on this very recently. This is a yeah, portable power station, rechargeable. You could charge it from solar, from mains, from 12 volts from your car. It has a 1,024 watt hour LiPo 4 battery in it. It has an 1,800 watt sine wave inverter in this unit so you can power ac devices as well in actual fact i loaded it up to like 2300 or something or 2200 because there is a bit of a surge on it as well but 1800 watts continuous and it handled it fine uh, they've got bluetooth uh, controls you can turn on and off all of your devices on the front you've got usb c regular usb on the back you've got uh, your other power options as well. As I mentioned, you can power it from solar. And this is a fantastic deal. It did pop up. Yeah, there you go. You could see uh, those outlets there on the back. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have an Anderson connector, but some of the other EcoFlow products do have an Anderson connector if you want to power like your 12-volt stuff from that. But you can power it from a cigarette lighter on the back. I, I use this for camping. I had a Jackery unit, but I much prefer this because of the features for like bluetooth and other things as well if you want to see my video where i go through this unit and review it then i'll put a link up in the cards for that but uh 60 off 3.99 i actually saw this deal pop up i think it was yesterday just before or just after black friday deals started to drop and i'm sure it was like 4.99 or 5.99 but the, i've never seen it this cheap before 60 percent off 3.99 this is great for portable power on the go when you need it. As I said, I'm going to be using it for uh, camping. I also use it for backup. We had some power outages a couple of months ago with some wild weather and it was great because I could plug this in. I could power all of my stuff. I could charge all my phones because the power was off for quite a while. So it was a no-brainer and it was awesome. So um, these are a great unit, pretty lightweight, easy, ergonomic as well. So uh, $3.99 for the EcoFlow Delta 2. EcoFlow also have other stuff also on sale as well. Obviously, larger systems and units, smaller systems and units here. So I'm going to put a link to some of these again below so that you can check any of those out. They've also come out here too with a 100 amp hour LiPo 4 battery, but I'm going to show you some more batteries later on in this video as well. $3.99 for the Delta 2 is a great price. The classic Baofeng GT5R. This is the legally compliant handheld radio from Radio Oddity. There is a six pack deal going on for $99.99, 33% off. It comes with the charging cradle here. So you might have an event or you might be doing something, a public safety event or something like that. I think they did a sale for uh, the big deal sale a couple of months ago and it was around about this price. I can't remember if it was cheaper, but uh, for $99, that's about $16 a radio. So the GT5R is the legally compliant version of the UV5R um, with no spurious emissions on two meters or 70 centimeters. So if you want to get one of these, then you get uh, six, six of them, which is a great deal from Radio Oddity. R-Sync have some sales on their Tiny SAs and their Nano VNAs. This is the entry-level Tiny SA. Uh, this will do 100 kilohertz to 960 megahertz. Tiny SAs are really handy for all sorts of things. I've used mine for tracking down interference, for testing radios, output power of radios. Uh, for testing spurious emissions of radios. I've done quite a few videos on that and how you can do that. So this one is the entry, as I mentioned, model 2.8 inch screen for $56.89, which is a good price if you uh, wanna just go up to that sort of frequency. They've also got their nano VNAs as well. So this is the H4. I think this is the entry level version of nano vna this has got the sma connectors on the side with all of the calibrations and cables and everything like that 78 dollars for the nano vna that does 10 kilohertz up to 1.5 gigahertz nano vnas are really 
awesome tools to have in the shack. You can measure all sorts of things, SWR, Smith charts, delays, phasing lines, um, you name it. There's all sorts of things that you can do with the Nano VNA. So um, on special from Rsync, which is a, a great deal. Now they've also got this going back now to the next version of the Tiny SA. This is the Tiny SA Ultra. This is the version or this is the model that I've got. Uh, the reason I've got this is because it goes up to 5.3 gigahertz. So I wanted something that went a little bit higher in frequency that measured uh, 23 centimeter band on 1.2 gigahertz. The uh, 13 centimeter band on 2.4 gigahertz and it just doesn't quite get me to the six centimeter band on 5.8 gigs but it does do 3.4 we have 3.4 here so um that is is the tiny sa ultra for 189 dollars so 30 percent off I really love mine and you'll see this in a lot of my videos. They've also got the R-Sync Nano VNA SAA2N. This is the Nano VNA with the N connectors and this one will also go a little bit higher. So we had this one which is the H4 up to 1.5 gigs. This one goes up to 3 gigs. So I can measure SWR on antennas on 23 centimeters and 2.4 gigs. So uh, that one is $92.99. I don't think I've ever seen it that cheap before. Uh, and it comes with the calibration uh, standards. It comes with these um, blue N connector test leads. And you can also pair this up with something like a common mode test choke from Halibut Electronics, I think it is. I've got one and I've got to do a video on it soon where I'm going to build it up. You can then measure common mode uh, common mode chokes with that test rig and I'll put a link in the description to those guys too because um, they're a pretty good little jig that you can buy for the Nano VNA. So yeah, $92.99 for the SA2N. Uh, Next up is the Kiwitz HT206D. This is a digital clamp uh, multimeter. I've got one of these and I've reviewed this in the past. The reason I really like this is the fact that it measures not only AC current, but it measures DC current, which is really, really handy. Um, some of the meters you get around about this price range don't do DC, this one does. It's only $36 plus it it doubles up as a multimeter as well. So uh, this Kiwitz meter I use uh, a lot when I've got to measure more than say 10 amps because my standard multimeter will measure 10 amps through it, but I don't have anything that can measure higher than that. So I just clamp this over the DC lead and I get an indication of how much current it's being drawn. So uh, the Kiwitz meter, they've also got um, some other stuff for sale as well. They've got other multimeters as you can see, uh, the KM602 is another meter that I've got. They've also got, I think, a soldering station and other various meters as well. So you might want to go in and check out all of their meters and stuff that they've got for sale. Some really good tools that the Kiwitz sell, um, great quality as well. Now, moving on to batteries. This is the EcoWorthy 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. This is $159.99, 20% off LiPo 4 battery. Uh, very lightweight, so these are good for parks on the air, Poda, running portable, putting in them in your vehicle if you need uh, portable power as well. Uh, obviously, these don't come with any sort of uh, inverter or any sort of charging or anything. They're just a battery. I've added in the 100 amp hour version here for $159.99. I've also added in the 30 amp version. Now, this one is $71.99, 20% off. The reason I've got this in here is because most... HF radios that you would use for POTA that are 100 watts, so the IC7300, uh, the Yaesu FT710, the FTDX10, the FT891, those sort of 100 watt radios, they they roughly draw about 18 to 20 amps when they are transmitting. I've got a 30 amp hour battery which powers that perfectly and it will do an activation almost all day long for me, especially if I'm just using SSB where I'm not drawing as much power out of the battery. So uh, much smaller, so it's a lot easier to cart around, a lot more portable, so you can use this on your Poder activations. And if you do want to upgrade to the higher version, more a little bit more current, then you can go the 50 amp hour version, which is also on sale too. Now in previous deals, I've gone on about these Anderson power pole connectors and also crimpers as well. The 
crimpers are not on special, but the power poles are. These are the 96 piece crimp set, 1530 and 45 amp hour. Uh, Anderson power poles. I've been upgrading everything here in the shack to power poles and also on my portable stuff too. Uh, it just allows easy, quick disconnect and connect. Um, everything's the same sort of standard. I'm not having to mess around with different power connectors and connecting them up to power supplies and all that sort of thing. And I've got power distribution blocks and things like that. So uh, 96 piece Connector said, if you want to get some Anderson power poles, then this is good. Uh, this is a good deal. Fifteen percent off for eighteen dollars for ninety-six pieces. Now, whilst this one is not necessarily a Black Friday specific deal, I thought that this was a good one to throw in because it still is on sale. This is a Diamond X thirty base station antenna for two meters and seventy centimeters. I've used these antennas for years. They are really robust. They are great antennas for home and also for portable use. This is the shortest antenna. This is $88, 27% off. They also have longer version antennas for more gain if you want those as well. I'll put a link in the description below again to some of those i just noticed that this one was was for sale so oh, on sale sorry so the x30 is a great antenna if you want to get uh maybe upgrade your handheld inside you want to get an antenna outside or you're just looking for a base station antenna then this one is a great great choice the TID Radio TDH3 is also on special for Black Friday Amazon sales. I've raved about this radio for a long time. I've done a couple of reviews on this radio and I absolutely love it. It's $56 for a two pack, it's 20% off. These radios will do two meters and 70 centimeters. Uh, these the audio sounds great on both ends. They're legally compliant for spurious emissions. Uh, you can get them in black, crystal, or green so that you've got some choices there. Uh, they also do frequency copying as well. They've got Bluetooth in them. You can buy the TID Radio Bluetooth adapter as well, although I think the later model TID Radios, yes, they do direct, direct programming. Uh, the first versions of these didn't do them, but these ones do, so you can plug a USB-C straight into the computer and you can program it using Chirp. Um, they'll do AM reception, which is kind of okay. They'll do NOAA weather reception as well. Um, like I said, they've got the the dongle that you plug in from TID Radio will do wireless programming if you want from your phone. But again, you can just use USB-C if you want to plug into your uh, computer to program. Um, yeah, one one key frequency copying they'll replicate between the two um they're they're just a great radio and oh look there i am <laughs> um they uh have an upgraded and larger battery as well so this is probably if i was to go with any sort of handheld radio this would probably be it because i just love these i think that they're fantastic so um, have a look at the tid radio tdh3 on special there next up is the quan chang uvk5 Every one of these deal videos has to have a Quan Chang in it uh, purely because they're on special and they're so versatile. Uh, I don't need to sort of explain, but if you want to see more about the Quan Chang and how versatile it has been and some of the videos that I've done on the Quan Chang, then there will be a card above where you can watch some of those videos. Moving on is a Baofeng programming cable. So if you've got those handheld radios and you do need to program them, although the TID radio allows the direct programming, if you've got any other Baofeng with a two-pin Kenwood connector like this, then sometimes it's hard to come across genuine cables that actually work. This is one that I've tested on several radios and I've never had any problems with it at all. This is the Baofeng programming cable, $6.20, so... Uh, 20% off you know it's normally seven dollars but still that's quite a good deal so you can get one of these to program any pretty much of those radios that have the two pin connector in the side now following on from a video that i did a couple of months ago about weatherproofing your connectors outside i came across uh the this tape this specific tape scotch super 33 plus electrical tape now believe me this is the best electrical tape 
I've ever used. Once you use this, you won't go back to any other tape. So what I use this for is not just for sealing out water. I use this electrical vinyl electrical tape as a first layer on my connector. I then I go over with some self amalgamating tape and then I go over again with this. And, and this is a 10 pack, 10 roll pack. It is 76 feet per roll and uh, it is $71. So roughly around about $7 a roll. You can get it in shorter rolls, but then it's not quite as uh it's it's not quite as cheap yeah 46 dollars definitely not quite as cheap so if you're gonna get this 10 rolls i can guarantee you will not be disappointed with this tape it is fantastic stuff 3m super 33 plus scotch tape and uh next up is the, some self amalgamating tape that i found so nine dollars 48 for a two pack roll so again what i do is for my connectors i put the scotch on first and then I put the amalgamating tape and then I put another layer of scotch on top of that just to keep everything out. And it's uh, it's just, it's great stuff. It keeps the moisture out. Um, it keeps the dust out it, it, and, and dirt. Um, and the reason why I like this tape so much is because it is just so easy to put on. It stretches on very, very nicely. Some tape that's a little bit rigid, and you, you know, you don't quite get it on. This is this is the perfect electrical tape. So uh, there's those two as well. Now, someone in my previous video said, "Are there any deals on Yaesu, Icom, Elecraft, Kenwood, etc. radios?" Well, the short answer is no. But I just wanted to show you that they are on Amazon. This is an FTDX10. Uh, for $1,600. This is being sold by Ham Radio Outlet. Ham Radio Outlet is on Amazon and does have some things for sale. There's nothing here that I can see that is Black Friday sales, but they do have some things. Uh, some radios are available on here. Conversely, here, here's the 7300 which is $1,200. So to answer the question, yes, there are Yesu and Icom. Whether they're on sale or not, probably not. This is a rather interesting one here. This is a Starlink Gen 3 tripod stand. Now I looked at this and I thought this could be a uh, use for a couple of things. Obviously for those that have Starlink who want to have their dish on a tripod if they're traveling around, then this is great because it comes with that and it comes with the little bracket which you can put the Starlink dish on there. There we go, the pipe adapter for the dish. Comes with a carry bag and stand the stand is not that high it is goes up to four and a half feet 137 centimeters but you could probably adapt this and use this for a small vertical antenna uh, vertical whip antenna such as a chameleon whip or a mad dog coil if you've used those or some sort of whip you could also use this i've i've used similar stands slightly higher stands for dishes and things when i've been running portable um and you might or maybe you want to run some uh something else off of it as well but i just sort of saw it 49 dollars down from 99 for this uh even though it's supposed to be for a starlink dish you could use it for multiple purposes now if you want a bit of a hot tip to find even more black friday deals all you need to do is go up here and search for what you're looking for so let's put in ham radio and then here on the left you'll see black friday deals click on that and this will then sort by all of the deals that are specific for Black Friday. As you can see here, there's a lot of handheld radios, so sometimes you have to dig down a little bit, but there is lots and lots of stuff on here. If you wanna take the time to find something specific, then you can do so that way. Now, let me know below in the comments what you picked up for Black Friday this year, or if there's anything that I might've missed. If you click on this video over here, I go through all of Redivus's deals and they've got quite a large number of radios that are currently on special for Black Friday. So go over and grab yourself a bargain.